My name is Devlin Daly and I'm one of the co-founding engineers at Instructure. I'm going to give you a high-level walkthrough of the Instructure Canvas learning management system just kind of to whet your appetite. Here's the user dashboard which you're given as soon as you log in is what you really learn at, you know, at school is, is from the conversations between you know, with the other students and with the teachers. So we've got those conversations front and center in the structure across all my courses right here. I can see some feedback on an assignment, some announcements from some courses. I can hop into any of these discussions as well. Here's a different view of the calendar. I can see what's coming up, what's just passed. Okay. If I wanted to go with a few more options other than just text in here is that in the discussion board we use this rich content editor where we use for anywhere that you can put in content inside of the structure. So I can this is kind of like a wiki, but in, instead of a wiki word, I can just drop in a link to any of my assignments. I can incorporate any math, uh, images, YouTube videos, anything like that. I can also, if you wish me, that I can produce myself. So I can actually turn on my webcam here and say, Hi, Michael, how's it going? Hope to talk to you soon. And then I can, and I can disseminate that to all my students. Okay, so everything interesting inside of Instructure has an RSS feed. We took it quite a, quite a big step forward with a profile that every user, student, and teacher alike can set up how they'd like to be contacted. So they can set up, you know, if they use Facebook as their mode of contact, they can add in their own email address or even their cell phone. And let me go to my communication preferences and show you what I mean. So right now, a uh, new announcement, I'll get a message. Uh, let's say I really want to stay on top of that. I'm going to set this so I'll get text on my cell phone right away as soon as it happens with a, a digest email later. Here's the topics I've commented on, so I don't have to come back to the site to see if anyone's answered my question. I'm going to go ahead and have that come to my cell phone as well. All right, and so we push data out. This is the favorite feature that students like the most about Instructure. We also support different teaching styles. Here's uh, our course modules where I can set up a linear sequence of learning activities. I'm going to move the writing workshop here uh, till after week one. I'm just going to reorder that. I'm going to add some some content to it, maybe this assignment logical fallacy and actually this is going to be maybe for a distance learning course so I'd like to say you know students can't get to this module until they've completed you know this one and then you know on this specific assignment that I just added I'd like them to at least submit the assignment before they can move on and so I can set those up at the same time we support you know face-to-face -face hybrid courses distance learning uh, very simply with with an excellent user interface uh, here's an assignment that I've set up here. I can quote some math, some YouTube videos. I can add a rubric here for some you know, formal assessment if I'd like with students. So I'll just create a new criteria. Structure of the argument. Let's say out of this one, the criteria, I'd like it to be out of three. I'm just going to build a matrix here. So all my next criteria is going to be out of two, and then you know, my third criteria will be out of three. Uh, I can easily reuse these rubrics, so I can actually already align these rubrics with some learning outcomes. Uh, this is a math assignment, so I'll just actually just go ahead and, you know, and use this rubric that I've already created and attach it to this assignment. Okay, so here's an, uh, an assignment that I have some student submissions. This is what we call our speed grader. So we take what the students turn in, we convert it so you can view it right inside the browser. I've attached a, ru a rubric, you don't have to again, but uh, if I do, then I can actually click directly on this rubric, uh, give it assessment for this assignment, and this will also tally up the marks against uh, you know my learning outcomes. Um, so I can track student progress. We know how to talk to the student. I just add, a, add in a comment to them. I can even record a comment with my microphone. I'll go right to the next student. This student turned in a website URL. So we've taken a, a picture so we have an artifact of it. But again, it's the exact same workflow. So now anything that you can you know, view on, in a web browser can be a learning activity now with no additional administrative overhead for the teachers. So don't waste their time doing that. Uh, I'm going to switch over here to Safari so I can show you what a student would look like. Uh, taking great pains to make sure that the application actually works the same and looks the same for both teachers and students. That way, they can talk to each other about it. So here on a um, on a student, in addition to you know their courses, they can also see uh, some student groups. They can create these, and teachers can too. So we actually provide tools. Even if the teacher doesn't use the learning management system, we still provide uh, you know these utilities for students. They can you know have their own wiki pages. They can communicate with each other. They can have web conferences. Uh, they can collaborate with Google Docs inside their own discussion forums, real-time chat groups, share file repository, you know, share calendars, and, and all that sort of thing. And so, like you know, again, stu student champions, and so uh, it's, it's very easy to use um, for everyone, um, both teachers and for students, and we give just everybody.
So anyway, hopefully that wet your appetite a little bit. Hope to talk to you soon.